next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Cheat Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. the other guy has. Whiffs on that offering. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? You gotta check these low leg kicks. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, perfect head kick there. Big knee to the body. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one. 
coming. Another shot lands upstairs. There's no give on that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Come on, man. Just missed with that right hand. Nice move to punch. Big body kick land. Look at the grip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Campbell's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Knee to the body. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand now, just misses. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick. There's some lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's ring the bell. Stay focused. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done. More. Oh! Who's hurt? Throws him up. Go get him. Straight right. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Hands high, hands high. Beautiful strike. Big leg kick land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice straight punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. 
Oh, nice uppercut there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Not there. Just misses there with the left. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. His cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's gonna be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Just unable to quite find that range. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, big head can land. Nice defense there, huge block. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice leg kick. Here. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, nice jab. Seconds here of round number three. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants him. Circling to his right. What a punch.
well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Try to establish that jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Under three minutes remain in round four. Ooh, big shot land. Lands that kick to the leg. Just out of the range with that right hand. with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Nice. Just missed on the front kick there. Nice body kick right on the field. Slips the punch. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice punch land over the top. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Nice job, man. Your counter strike is perfect. I want you to... All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outside. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. That was a thudding leg kick. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Don't let him run. Keep blocking him off. Now, now a knee to the body. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he's had that jab in his opponent's face all night long as he lands another one there. DC, I know you wish you had a reach like this. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Real sneak by Lee. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Good punch, Lance. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Keep your hands up. Do your footwork now. 
circling towards the left now. Right hand upstairs. Head kick. And they separate. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, a huge block there. Big punch lands through the middle. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, crippling knee to the body. What a fight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that